looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over some of the notes updates glitches and a few other things that i do have to go over today now guys before we get into today's video like i said we have some stuff for clowny some stuff for julio some sugar rush content going away finally but before we get into it guys if you are into the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give the video a big thumbs up as always guys and of course if you need coins head over to muck coin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout for five percent off your order guys can't take advantage of those super cheap coins very easy to pick up golden tickets again guys if i'm talking weird told you my tongue really hurts it, it's honestly probably the worst it's been very hard to speak at this point almost thought about not making a video today but i had to get you guys the updates so let's get into the video guys so first things first going over to the new clowny right Golden Ticket Clowny. Also, guys, for people who are asking about Golden Tickets, like I said, uh, this upcoming Friday, I believe we will have some more notes on them. But we know how the, everything's going to go down. But we're going to be having, if you guys don't remember, I believe it's the 9th and the 11th. We're going to be having the two days of, uh, or whatever days they were. I said them yesterday. Sorry if I don't have them right right now. We're going to have the two days where you have a chance to get pull Golden Ticket. So make sure you guys will be around for that. I think it's between uh, like 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock at night. So make sure you guys are going through that. It's on the EA forums. So make sure you are checking that out. Don't take my word for it now. Um, but moving on, guys. So the new Clowney, right? So if you guys haven't noticed, the new Clowney, of course, is a outside linebacker, right? Left outside linebacker. But a recent glitch has been brought up. So a lot of people have been playing. You know, a lot of people play with Clowney. They picked him up. So the issue he's having right now is currently there's a mode where he cannot be used in. Or at least he, currently, right? So the issue is if you go into Mutt Squads and use your Davion Clowney, on the defensive side of the ball, of course, right? You have him, you're the defensive guru guy. You got your Davion Clowney, right? If you use Clowney, the game will crash. And it will keep crashing, right? For whatever reason, we don't know. It'll probably be fixed pretty soon. But for all you guys who probably want to play Mud Squads with him and can't figure out how to play it, there is a workaround. You're going to come into your binder, guys. If you have your Davion Clowney. So for me, I'm just going to use my Lawrence Taylor, which should be a requisite piece to use it on. So uh, you go to upgrades. And you go all the way to uh, the right on Clowney. Now, if you see where chemistry and positions are, you go all the way to his position spot. I, oh my God, I keep clicking the wrong one. You go all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Clowney should have a move from left outside linebacker to right end, I believe. So you want to put him at end because if you put him at linebacker, it actually crashes the game, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But that's what happens. So if you, if you pretty much use Clowney where he's supposed to be played, the game crashes. So make sure that you put him at end. And then you also put his chemistry so the secondary positions at end as well. And if you place him at end, you should be fine. So make sure you actually place him at end as well. But yeah, playing him at outside linebacker does break the game. So just make sure you guys are playing him at end. And I know there's probably a decent amount of you guys who probably, you know, if you're the defensive guy, probably spent a, you know, a few hundred thousand coins, picked up Clowny, were super hyped for Mud Squads to go, you know, get into some games of Mud Squads. And then started crashing and now it sucks because you can't even use the best play in your team. You probably don't even know why, right? You probably don't even know it's a Clowny. So now you just think Mud Squads is broken. And the last thing you're going to do is take Clowny off the team and play with him, right? So that's the worst part. If you picked up Clowney in the last 24 hours or so, you're probably having to play Mud Squads once, and you don't know any reason why. You're resetting your game a few times. You think it's the servers, and you would never think to take the best player off your team, right? And that's kind of what sucked about this, but hopefully that does fix it. Now, moving on out of the out of here, coming on over is another thing that we have. So, one thing that we do want to note is that if you guys remember, during a few past promos, play, like during the Christmas promo, when players came from Strictly Presence, and you couldn't get them otherwise, after the promo, they did give them a training bypass. So we kind of suspect that there will be a training bypass for Julio Jones. Now, you guys know Julio Jones did drop as a present player um, a day or so ago as one of the Easter drops, right? So Julio Jones is going for 506k, which is a lot. But if he gets a training bypass, guys, he may be a super cheap power upable player. So remember, his power may, if the training bypass does happen, his power up may get more expensive and his lower pieces may get more expensive. But let's say you already have Julio, right? You bought Julio. This is where it works for you. Let's say you bought Julio already. You have him powered up Chemdip 99. And his training bypass comes out. His training cost only costs 150 to 200 k worth of training. Or you have training already. You can go ahead and sell this Julio for half a million coins right now. Make 450 k subtract the training cost, and leave with a nice 300 to 250 k worth of profit. Maybe more, maybe less, depending on the time, depending on how many people have done it. So there may be a training bypass. So if you don't know what a training bypass is, guys... It pretty much means when you go, when you're powering up a card, right? You're like powering him up, power him up. You get to his 91 team of the week. You put that card in, right? And then you get to his 97 overall. 
to go any further you're gonna need his 98 overall card to place it in to get him up to a 99 powered up right so instead of putting the card in there's gonna be an option that says like training bypass if you pay this x amount of training you will be able to get his 98 overall without actually paying for his 98 overall so that's super cool and i really hope that is uh implemented pretty soon again this did happen last time during christmas with a few of the present players you could literally only get from presents because now that the eggs are gone how else are you gonna get julio jones he's essentially an ltd then right but he's not so that's why they're gonna probably give him an ltd and they even give an ltd training bypass so the fact that he's not an ltd doesn't mean that's why he's gonna get it but that should be part of it and of course ltds have gotten before so i'm not concerned at all in terms of that Next, guys, candy has turned into training. As you guys see in the top right corner, there's no more candy. So if you guys have, like, hundreds of thousands of candy sitting there, that converts to training. Um, hopefully, you guys didn't have that much candy. You know, usually, I recommend spelling, uh, spending it. In, in promo past, we haven't always gotten the best conversion rate. Sometimes, there's been math, you know, done to show that it actually makes more sense to just convert it into whatever you can. Sometimes, maybe not. But it's usually not a one-to-one, -one, right? So it really just depends on what you're doing and what you're kind of about with that. Um, next, guys, going over to sets. The sugar rush uh, sets. Now, if you guys do remember, there is the... Uh, I don't see it here anymore because it's done already. But remember, there was the Juju Smith versus Anthony Harris uh, set, which was kind of like the snowball fight from Christmas when we had, uh, I believe, Miles Garrett and we had Justin Herbert. Now, during that promo, pretty much the Madden Ultimate team picked for side. They had a snowball fight. You know, they played, they played challenges. And whoever won X amount of challenges, whichever side won more per player, would get the upgrade, right? Which Justin Herbert won. And I'm pretty sure the YouTube... Uh, the YouTube youtubers and community kind of teamed up to do anthony harris so more than likely anthony harris should get it but you never know but juju smith anthony harris are the two juju really wasn't as good anthony harris was the better option but again that upgrade the plus one or whatever you're gonna get from it will be coming hopefully i don't know if it'll be today it could be tomorrow but you know it is coming right so just stay tuned for that if you guys i know a lot of you guys are probably waiting for that right a lot of no money spent budget or even just a guy who just plays the game and god squad doesn't matter like they got that card they want their card uh hopefully quick sells for training right so that if you are a god squad you can at least get something free out of it instead of just getting stuck with the player but as always, guys, it's not always the end of the world when you get stuck with one of those players because you can put those players at backup. So when you put those players at backup, you essentially get a, now a really, really good backup, which is great for kickoff teams, you know, punt teams, special teams, and it's even better for this. You can now put like times two sprinter, times three sprinter, times two lockdown, times three lockdown, times four lockdown, right? You're able to go ahead and give them big chemistry boost. Now, typically, if you only have a starting team, right? Like you just have your, you know, your starters in offense and defense and you chem them out, that won't be enough for the 50, right? Usually, depending on, you know, how, what overall you're at in the game. So you typically have to have good backups, right? You have now one, one elite backup gets one, well, one times and 90 plus gets two. You got like Anthony Harris, who's like 95 plus, and then suddenly you get a plus two or three. And now if you can get a few of those guys, you have a lot of chemistry boost coming from backup players. Now, no one wants, no one wants to buy 95 plus overall backup for over 100K just to get a chemistry, right? Like that sucks. So the, be the beauty of this is that if you're able to go ahead and get these players, you're essentially getting top tier backups for special teams and chemistry boost, which is kind of important to me, in my opinion. But moving on from that, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. If you haven't already, head on over to Mutt Coin Bank down below. And use code Poodle at checkout for 5% order each and every time you use my code. And, guys, of course, it's super cheap. So, make sure you guys are taking advantage. But, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.